Cal here, and I'm back with another one. Good Law 2018 just received another update with more improvements to several of its components. If you've watched my previous videos on Good Luck, you'll know that I'm a big fan. It's great to see Samsung listening to feedback from users and making the necessary changes to improve Good Luck. Anyways, enough of the chit chat, let's dive right into the notable changes. Let's go! Starting with Lockstar, they now provide you with the ability to freely drag and edit lock screen elements. Long press on your custom created theme and hit edit. You notice that there's now an edit option in the top right beside save. Hit that and in here, you can now manually move around the different lock screen elements anywhere you want. When trying to align things to the center, there's a green guideline that then snaps the element into place. Also note that you can't overlap elements. Moving on to routines, it saw mainly bug fixes to iron out the malfunctions that were occurring for some people. They also added data sync, video enhancer, and download booster to actions, so you can now trigger those in your custom routines. The most notable change for me has to be that they apparently improved GPS algorithms for more efficient battery. I have been avoiding the use of any routines that required location or GPS based conditions due to the fact that I felt a pretty significant battery hit. After testing this for the past couple of days, I can say that it's definitely a lot better and I'm not seeing as much battery drain. Next up, we have Task Changer. Upon installing the update, you'll notice a 3x3 grid icon found at the bottom left when activating your recent apps. This allows you to launch any app into multi-window mode. In the past, you have to have the two apps you wanted to launch in multi-window already open. A nice improvement from a convenience standpoint. They also seem to have adjusted the animation Previously, the app switcher would expand from the bottom left. Now it slides upward from the bottom. I like the change. It feels much smoother and less jarring to look at. There was also an issue with locked apps. Locked apps remain open even when you hit the close all button on the recent app screen. Prior to the update, after a phone restart, it would reset all your locked apps. Now, after restart, your locked apps will still be there. Finally, we have One Hand Operation Plus. They have implemented support for gestures when in the landscape orientation. This is great as it was a huge inconvenience prior for apps that launched directly into landscape. Samsung also gives you the option to turn this on or off in the More Settings menu. Another big change is that you can now set functions separately to both the right and left handlers which in essence can give you a total of 12 different gestures. They've also added a screen capture function setting. I love this as I take screenshots all the time. No more pressing and holding the power and volume down key for me. For those of you with a note device, they changed it so that you won't activate the gestures with the S Pen. They've also fixed the problem where the handler does not move up when third party keyboards appear. Now, whenever the on-screen keyboard appears, the handler shifts upwards. You have the option to turn this off in the More Settings menu. I personally have it disabled as the shift was throwing me off due to muscle memory. There you have it, the notable changes that were made to Good Luck 2018. Overall, it's a pretty good update and I'm pleased with the improvements. This is the second major update to Good Luck 2018 since its release. Hopefully, we see many more. Are you using Good Luck? If so, what is your favorite part of this update? Let me know in the comment section. Until the next one, peace. Bye!